Today I want to explore with you the meaning and purpose of a life review. As immortal cosmic beings of infinity, our life on planet Earth is like a short school term. At the end of any school term there is usually an assessment, an evaluation. Many of us are not aware that each one of us will take ourselves through such an assessment at the time of our physical death, when we leave this planet. This assessment is commonly called a life review. Let's look at it a little closer. At the time of our death, when our soul is ready to separate from the physical body, there comes a moment when our whole life rolls by, like a rapid motion movie, and we are allowed to look back once more. Fully conscious, we evaluate our past, the earthly life, down to the most insignificant sensation. We will evaluate it from different points of view, which we have never done before. The main criterion is that of actualized, unselfish love and service. The exact moment of this review varies. In many cases, the soul is still connected to the physical body via the silver cord. This way, the dying person will have one final opportunity to make amends, forgive or ask for forgiveness before he leaves the earth school. But very often, this review will take place after the soul has arrived in the spiritual spheres. The life review is not always like a projection on a big movie screen. It can be like a panoramic view, or like many TV screens, or a three-dimensional holographic experience, or some have this life review in an amphitheater or in arena. Others have their review read from the Akashic records by a spirit being. In many cases we are accompanied by our guardian spirit and other beings of light, like a council of elders, who are observing the review with us. These beings of light can fill us with love for this process so that we can feel totally safe, supported and deeply loved in their presence. This is significant because our life review can show us moments, habits or deeds that we are not proud of. We cannot escape from who we really are. In the spiritual world nothing remains hidden because we no longer have a physical body with which we could fool others and even ourselves. This can be a very painful but humbling experience. We can see this life review also just like a mirror that reflects back to us the contents of all our feelings, thoughts, words and deeds exactly as they have affected others. We see the ripple effects of our actions. We may feel how others have once felt because of us and what future choices they have made because of us. Without this mirror we may never be aware of how even the most innocent acts or words had impacted others, either positively or negatively. In our life review we may also see why other people have hurt us. We may gain insight into their own personal drama and struggle that made them a thief, abuser or just a very unhappy and imbalanced person. We may suddenly feel deep compassion for those we thought were our enemies. We now sense the truth in Plato's famous words, Be kind, for everyone you meet is fighting a harder battle. What if, during our life review, we may be surprised to find out that all the things we thought were terrific, like all our grand and worldly achievements, are actually of very little value or totally meaningless now. Why? Because they were mostly done for ourselves. What if it may turn out that deeds and thoughts that we might have considered to be unimportant are far more meaningful than we could possibly have imagined. For instance, what if we may find out that a simple smile that we once gave to somebody and which we had immediately forgotten was the most important event in our life? Yes, let this sink in. It is often an event that appears insignificant, but maybe the whole reason 
why we incarnated and came to planet Earth in the first place. In such moments, we had acted spontaneously from our heart, from love, instead from our mind or intellect. We had expressed love in a purer, greater and unconditional manner. Throughout this whole process of the life review, we will be our own judge. Nobody else will judge us. Not even God, because God is love and love does not judge. Even the beings of light who may be with us will not judge us. On the contrary, they may rejoice and even applaud us when genuine love is displayed in our review. They may also ask us questions to help us explore whether our motivations were based in love. We will be our own judge over our past thoughts and actions. This is a moment where we can see how we have measured up to our goals and mission in life. Our life review is a form of self-appraisal to monitor our spiritual development. But there is one other reason as to why we feel so intensely how our words, thoughts and actions have hurt and impacted others during our life review. This pain is the basis of our conscience and will be stored in our soul for future reference. So if we in future will once again come into a similar situation, our conscience will quickly bring back this pain to remind and warn us not to do the same mistake again, but think, speak and act from love. A life review can be humbling, sometimes painful, but it will also be thrilling because it gives us a deep understanding of our life and of our true purpose. In short, we may recognize that the only thing that is important is to live through the heart and be of service and love for one another. The question we will be asking ourselves, how much have I loved unconditionally during my life? Our life review will give us the honest answer. So the message for all of us is that every day counts. Are we willing to clear up anything that comes up throughout the day? Are we willing to bring balance and order back into our life? For if we do, we can actually rewrite the script of our future life review into a much more positive way. Particularly when our words, deeds and actions are based on love. Some of the material for today's video I've taken from the book Where Did I Come From? Where Am I Going? by Gabriele. And you can find a link to this book under this video or you go to my website lifeexplained.com and go onto the recommendations site. I'm very much looking forward to see you in my next video.